Hi, and welcome to another video. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL. So today I'm going to show you how I finished off this little bag right here. This is how I had it clipped to my board. Um, kind of had it raised basically just so you could see what was going on. And here I'm doing a process I can only describe as dropping strings. I'm essentially um, trying to take the 128 and whittling it down little bit by little bit as I go around the whole circle. Here's a different angle looking down. Kind of, maybe you can see. That was my wife, she just got me a tool. Um, I'll have to add a, a photo on the website to show you what that is. It's a tool used for pulling elastic into a garment or like pulling the drawstring into a pair of sweatpants, that kind of thing. So. Um, really useful in a case like this, as the strings are getting dropped out, I pull it through the, uh, uh, basically that's like a little tube I made, uh, had some like plastic stuff laying around, it's fairly firm, so that kind of helped it to hold the shape, otherwise you could really easily get this thing shaped like an oval or something that maybe you weren't aiming for. Well, maybe if you want an oval, maybe that's what you do, maybe you, you put something to that shape that you're hoping to achieve and let that help you do the thing. So here you can kind of see a little bit how it's it's fewer knots each time, just kind of bringing it down and then I have to rotate it. And uh, fairly tedious process. The bonus is every row that you do, it's a few less strings. So that certainly is uh, incentivizing to say the least. All right, again, another angle looking down. Um, oh, you can kind of see the tool there on laying on the table. It's got the little red tip. On the other side is a thin wire and a bit of uh, like a brass sleeve that kind of goes over the wire. Um, it can kind of slide out. So it's like you hook it around the string, close it, pull things through. I, I, it's it's not necessary, I suppose, but it certainly helps. I, I certainly would recommend it. I think I probably paid five bucks tops. Yeah, I could be wrong, but it, it's it wasn't terribly expensive. I used an awful lot, especially when making bags. So uh, just just get yourself one. You'll you'll thank me later. So. You kind of, I think, can sort of see the bag is tapering in. It, you'll notice as I get a little further, like into this part, you can see now it's really starting to take its shape. Um, I'm really trying to work out exactly what the math formula is to make it so that way they turn out perfect. I, you've seen my Instagram, you've seen the one I, I, I didn't care for. It's, it's really um, kind of pointy in shape. This one's much, much flatter, um, and I'm really trying to work that out so that way I can kind of share with everybody what is needed to make that thing happen. So um, hopefully in some kind of upcoming video, we'll have that for you. Um, yeah, I'm not sure this, this angle is necessarily really helping, but uh, I, I really, you know, trying to make shift a, a way to, you can see I shifted the cameras around. I was, I was really doing everything. This just hopefully try to make it so that way, perhaps you could get your a grasp and see what it was that I'm, I'm doing. Um, so you can see here, really kind of closing it up. Really kind of getting close to the end at this point. So um, I'm sure there's probably going to be a lot of questions, or at least I certainly hope so. I'd be more than willing to try to answer them for you. And, uh, you know, maybe together we'll figure this whole thing out, we'll get a way of actually mapping how to, to do this. See, here we go. Starting to really pull the strings through. Yeah, and then the last one, yeah, I could kind of see what was left. The ones I didn't need went through, then knot up this, 
stuff them all in. Then it was trimming off the ones that didn't need anything to, done to it. And then you see here in the middle, big knot, get that thing super nice and tight. Flip it around and there it is. That's the bag. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. You guys have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, do click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions you'd like answered in future tutorials, leave a comment below. For more on friendship bracelets, visit akaawol.com. Also, be sure to hit me up on Instagram at akaawol. Thanks for watching and don't get your strings in a bunch.